In the graph below, add one or more dashed edges to produce a graph that has an Euler circuit. You cannot create new edges, you may only use one that exists. So looking at this first graph, the first thing I would do is see what is the degree of every vertex, because maybe it already has an Euler circuit. So starting maybe at the top there, we have two going into that first vertex, one, two, three, four on the left, one, two, three. So automatically this does not have an Euler circuit because I have a vertex with an odd degree. As a matter of fact, I have two of them. And then at the top I have a four. Okay, so this one does not have an Euler circuit. So what we're going to do is reuse one or more edges so that all of these degrees will be even. So looking at the bottom two, there is already an edge that connects them. So if I just simply reuse that edge, so I'm going to use a dashed edge to represent that. So that means we're going to be reusing that edge. This three and that other three now becomes a four so that this will now contain an Euler circuit. One thing I want to note about this is the fact that these edges crossed. That does not necessarily create a new vertex. Just keep that in mind. Looking at this next example, we'll do the same thing. Start by looking at all of the degrees. So at the top left, we got a two, and I'll just travel around. So one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. And then in the middle, we got a four. So again, this does not have an Euler circuit because we have some odd degrees. So what we're going to do is reuse some edges to create them, or to create an Euler circuit by having all of the even degrees. So looking at uh, my odd degrees of three, three and three, none of them are directly connected. So I can't get from this left three to that top three because there is no edge connecting them. What there is is an edge in between them. So what I can do is kind of travel around and get to it. So from this three on the left, I'm going to go, first of all, to the two. Now, you may think that's a problem, but it's not, because from that two, if I go to the three, what I've done essentially is added two edges to that two. So now this three becomes a four. The two becomes a four, so it's still even. And the three becomes a four. So now we're good on that part. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. I'm going to go from the right three to the bottom three, but again, I cannot just connect straight away because there is no edge doing that. What I can do is travel around and loop through other uh, vertices. So I'm going to go around, just like I did on the left there. So the three becomes a four, the two becomes a four, and the three becomes a four. So now every vertex is even. So we're going to be end up we're going to end up using one two three four edges twice. Let's look at one more. Same idea. Count the degrees first. So on the left side I got a degree of two. The right side I got one two three. In the middle I got a two, three, and a two. So what I want to do is end up connecting those odd degrees together, but again, I can't just jump over and connect because there is no edge that's doing that. So what I'm going to do is jump through the two and get to the other three. So then the three becomes a four, the two becomes a four, because I went in, back out, and three becomes a four. So now every degree is even. So we're going to end up reusing two edges.